I think this is ladybird heaven. What kind of ladybirds are they though? They're not red. One's after me, look. Oh, there's one over there too, look. Oh, go on, fuck off. Bloody hell. It's a plague of ladybirds. They're sort of black ones and yellowy ones. Anyway, um, the scene, the shopping of Francis, the high street of Arpen, and it's odd. Not like a proper normal high street, it sort of goes on forever. Oh Lord, now, have I fixed the whole world yet? No. Do I want to try to fix some of it? How do I do that? To bring your light, my Lord, to shine in the darkness in the stark world. I seem to be grounded here now. In Harpenden, and Hertfordshire, where hurricanes hardly ever happened. I think actually the original was Hampshire, wasn't it? And my fair lady. <laughs> it's a lovely day, it's the last day of August, bank holiday, or whatever, August holiday. Why are always bank holidays? Bank's got all the money, haven't they? Trouble is coming. There's no doubt about it. Uh, this COVID thing is just the precursor. There's going to be much, much, much more trouble. It's all foretold, forecast, prophesied in the Bible. Things are going to get much, much, much worse. All of this current world in which we live is basically going to be just washed away. That's it really. And until you realise that, then you haven't actually woken up yet. Blessedly, I'm awake. Okay, I both see and hear God's Word in the Bible, just the standard, ordinary, old Christian Bible, the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Gospels, especially for me as a Christian, and this world is going to be torn apart much, much, much more so than the present. This is what is foretold. And there's no escape. There's only one way out, and that is through love, loving God through Christ. It's not a threat. It's just the reality of what life is. Amen, really. Look at them.